as you can see, the most preferable for me primer would be the oil-based primers or kind of moisturizers. This is actually from Glam Glow, the Mega Illuminating Moisturizer. So I would say that for the dry skin, the moisturizers is the, is the best base for the makeup application. It gives me smoothness in application and the longevity, it totally depends on the foundation by itself. So the primer might improve the situation, but the foundation by itself, it has to be there. The primer will not save the situation if this is a bad foundation. Okay, the about the water-based primer, I already said they grip a lot of products and they hold it's fine, but it depends how you like that. Um, and if you have a dry skin type, the flakiness might not get away from your skin type. I thought this the water-based primers is the lightest primers, but now I changed my mind. It's kind of, they all gel and they give you a tackiness on your skin a little bit. So it's absorb a lot of products. It's hold a lot of product on your skin. So yeah, this is about the water-based primers. I would say if you have another information, please give me your thoughts below. I would appreciate to hear them and if there is some something you can add information about the water-based primers please let me know this is my research it's not 100 percent accurate but this is what i get from my research okay and about the silicone primers i use silicone primers a lot especially for the areas I have pores right here on my forehead I would like to remove texture this is my issue zone so and even if you have a fine lines you would like to fill them with the silicone primers go ahead so moisturizers I usually mix with the silicone primers they are okay for me and I have to say that three or two I believe that these two foundations they have a silicone in it as an ingredient of this foundation so i have to say that natasha denona face glow foundation is one of my favorite one i never saw anything better on my skin than this foundation and actually i like this foundation as well um well I don't see that it's full coverage foundation. It doesn't mention on this foundation. I don't think. I think this is a mistake on the website. And uh, the foundation X Plus, it's mentioned here full coverage, full uh, fruit complex. So full coverage, fruit complex. Yeah. Okay, this foundation is not my favorite because it's emphasized right here. It's aging me a little bit. Longevity is fine. It's there for all of them. Um, I'm very happy with my purchase. I give you my thumbs up, especially for these two foundations. It's definitely there. I love these foundations. Okay, so comparing to my Yves Saint Laurent foundation, I thought I like the Natasha Denona Face Glow more, but I realized that I really changed my skin and when firstly I start using Yves Saint Laurent foundation I haven't used the oil based serum on my face and this is where this foundation it was the best I tried but it was not the foundation I would really say it gives me everything but I would like to read you something about those foundations I would like to speak a little bit of another foundations which is new on the market which is old but I would like to compare them so about the foundation 
floating on Côte de Peau from East Saint Laurent. Feels like a feather, wears like an ink. That's true. No more compromise. 24 hours of soft matte perfection and comfort. Our exclusive fine as ink formula perfects the skin, yet wears weightlessly all day. Never cakey or heavy. Feel the difference of all day perfection and freedom. Available in 21 shade. Yes. Yes, it is. It does everything. And after I start using the oil-based primer, it even looks much better on my skin. So it's kind of invisible. It's kind of unique. I promised I will try my favorite foundation uh, after um, I finish all this test with three foundations from Natasha Denona because I said that probably my skin changed a little bit. So I would really like to see how my favorite foundation look like right now if there is any changes or and it's all the same so my favorite foundation before i met natasha denona foundation is uh, from yves saint laurent le tint encore de peau this is i think how it sounds in french it's very liquidy foundation so you have to shake it very well before you apply and again, I'm going to apply it with the sponge and with the brush. It has this weird applicator. It's absolutely horrible applicator. What to do? Oh, I love this foundation. It looks amazing. It looks even better than before. Probably I really moisturized my skin. Right now I'm using the moisturizer from Glam Glow. It's the Mega Illuminating in Nude Glow. I put a lot for the brush. This is beautiful foundation. Ah, I love this so much. So, yeah, I keep Yves Saint Laurent as one of my favorite and Natasha Denona as well. Le Tin Encore de Peur is just stunning. It's just stunning. And uh, I wear this foundation a lot. I didn't have any problem with this foundation. It's transferable to the cloth. Yes. Well, I actually, I never saw any foundation which would not transfer to the cloth. But according to the, to the longevity, it's fine. It doesn't sit in the pores. It doesn't crease. It doesn't emphasize the skin texture but it's very it's it's very light light medium co uh, coverage of this foundation so it's very lightweight uh, when you apply and you like applying the silk on your skin or something i don't know that's just beautiful foundation the only i have to check with the sisley foundation if uh it has a, an alcohol because the yves saint laurent foundation and the Natasha Denona ones, they do have alcohol. Now let's check Sisley. So probably as more kind of a skincare foundation, I would go with Sisley. So I found something which I should give a wearing test as well because I had a very bad experience with um, the foundation with the Guilain with Guilain foundation essential which has like 97% of natural ingredients but at the same time it was so badly separating on my face after like one or two hours wearing this 
long long wear foundation of 16 hours they promised longevity 16 hours of that foundation that would be so great because i was not mad of how it looked on my skin it was pretty fine but it's just it's just horrible separating i never worn something worse than that one on my skin it's just a shame how it looks like on the skin and uh, this foundation for me it's very close but it's a glow and now i can travel with this and i cannot travel with this okay um i have one more foundation which really reminds me this foundation this is the miracle lancome miracle air de tint it's the same situation it's kind of a tint it has a better color range i couldn't find anything lighter than br50 even though it exists i checked the website and i will give you the link down below in stores you cannot find okay this is the lancome one it has this kind of cater it's very liquidy the same as this this is almost the same so these three foundation is my favorites and this is what it's mentioned about the miracle perfecting fluid matte glow it's with spf 15 um the retail price is 55 dollars i am using 40 nn color 02 invisible nude finish air and blur technology miracle air de tint is lancome's first perfect and fluid foundation that feels as a light as air it's actually the same as feather about the Yves Saint Laurent. it's it's actually the same foundations for the ultimate non-makeup look yeah i agree if you moisturized your skin enough but nourished your skin you know smoothest your skin not just moisturized it's kind of this effect has to be on your skin to apply these foundations so for the first time Lancome has incorporated powder and blurring technology into its foundation to create a new incredibly lightweight formula 100% of women forget they are wearing it I can say for all three this foundation the same stuff you will forget that you're wearing this foundation it's kinda has it's kinda an ink uh, on your skin so you don't have the product you have something to penetrate to your skin so about Natasha Denona face glow what it says it's a best-selling lightweight foundation with brilliant stain power that looks flawless from day to night exactly during the day I look in my mirror uh, like I don't know after eight hours ten hours you can touch up a little bit uh, the highlights ingredients silicones provides the skin with nutrients while creating a smooth conditioning and hydrated effect that lasts well I feel like the silicone gives this uh, feather airbrush effect and she highlighted this ingredient in this foundation so this hydrating foundation is suitable for all skin types and will leave your skin with an even flawless natural looking finish exactly imparting a glowing dewy effect the foundation creates a smooth and well hydrated look yes it's not a matte i cannot say it's very dewy uh but it's natural natural looking it's not matte definitely about the transfer matte um foundation what it says it's a medium to full coverage modern matte that blurs pores visibly rejuvenates the skin and smooth texture while protecting skin from environmental damages so this foundation it really reminds me the face glow i don't know on my skin probably 
but I would say the face glow for my skin is thinner, better, more natural appearance. It's it's also doesn't sink in the pores. It doesn't. According to the pores, it works exactly the same. So I would say I don't need that one to vanish my pores. What else it has? This foundation it includes skin loving botanical extracts that work to optimize hydration and chase shine away for photo flawless skin. Anti-aging peptides and powerful antioxidants shield your skin from environmental damages and protect against the early signs of aging. So it has a skincare product which these might not. This unique flexible formula provides all this with a cushiony soft and comfortable coverage while also being oil free this formula is vegan. Comes in 35 shades. It's beautiful. I like it a lot. Okay, now let's talk about Foundation X Plus. What does it say? It's full coverage, natural finish. It goes for normal, dry combination and oily. So for all skin types. It has a grapefruit extract, naturally supports skin longevity. Pomegranates extract rich in oxidants, antioxidants and vitamin C and diminishes visible signs of aging. Free of parabens, this product is also vegan and cruelty free. This foundation is formulated with special ingredients that help balance the T-zone area and absorb excess oils in the skin. It's actually the same what it has in the pore vanishing foundation but i check the ingredients some ingredients are the same but a lot of ingredients like 60 percent ingredients are different it helps support natural collagen and elastin fibers and helps defend against skin pollution light reflecting particles minimize the appearance of fine lines and deep pores well probably yes Probably this is true, but I can see this foundation on my skin because this is a full coverage. But still, this is a beautiful foundation. I definitely, I definitely will keep and use if I need a full coverage foundation for, I don't know, for my on-stage performances, if I would have them. Okay, now I would like to uh, speak about some outstanding foundation as well. Why I would like to speak about those foundation? Because people are talking about those foundation. They are very interested to me and I wanted to try them and I tried and you will see right now. I am applying those foundations and um, I would like to compare them. So, Sisley Fito Tint Ultra Eclat Foundation. The retail price $69. I was saying that it's extremely expensive, but it's not extremely expensive. The Yves Saint Laurent more expensive. Okay, Fito Tint Ultra Eclat Foundation contains luminosity while keeping the skin hydrated and soft, thanks to a hint of wood mallow infused into the oil-free formula. And have you led eye on the zebra print cap too? C'est parfait. This is what it means on French. It's luminous finish and it, it doesn't show on the skin as a foundation at all. Right now I cannot see that. I mean it looks like a skin like completely. Wow. That's beautiful. This says maybe light light medium coverage. It's the color is a little bit yellow on me. I don't like maybe the color. Okay, you know, guys, you know that the natural light expose everything. If the foundation is at some point it's not good or anyhow it's somewhere it will expose everything. So this foundation from Sisley it looks amazing. The right now is the you can see me during the daylight 
and I checked with artificial light. Like artificial light is always easy. Normally you cannot see bad stuff in uh, artificial light. So um, I am really impressed with the Sisley Foundation and it definitely goes for me in the same role as the Natasha Denona Foundations. Fancy Beauty by Rihanna, Pro Filter Hydrating Lone Wear Foundation. It comes with 50 shades and retail price is $35. I was wearing shade 190. It's a medium coverage, natural finish. It's aimed to be good for normal, dry and combination skin. So actually for me it has to be good. <sighs> Unfortunately it was not good for me and you can see right now. The highlighted ingredients is grape seed oil and this is a long lasting coverage and hydration in 50 shades foundation. Each foundation delivered in a portable tube, which actually designer didn't like. Maybe that's why I was not pretty much attracted by this foundation, but I saw some reviews and like all reviews I saw was like this foundation a lot get a perfectly smooth natural looking finish that lets skin look like skin rihanna created this formula with grapeseed oil and sodium alluronate i'm sorry if i cannot say it right to make a foundation that normal and dry skin types will love i didn't like this foundation that's a complete fail for me it looks dewy on the skin and at the same time powder or cakey or i don't know i can see a lot of product on my skin wearing it no absolutely no for me uh, with this lighting i like the brush side uh, better than the sponge one but at this moment i don't like how it looks like on my skin it's a little bit seeds on the pores and it's on top of my skin it doesn't look like a skin type of foundation it doesn't look dry it definitely luminous or natural finish but it's uh, i would like to check with another light urban decay stay naked weightless foundation it comes in 50 shades the retail price is 39 dollars at first point i loved it you can see that i'm applying this foundation it's vegan buildable medium coverage liquid foundation with the real skin matte finish that lasts up to 24 hours i think it's very similar to the yves saint laurent foundation i probably have to try it one more time because first i applied i was so impressed it looks very seamless on the skin i'm very impressed but uh, when I applied it on the full face, it was kind of so-so. But then the Yves Saint Laurent and even cheaper than the face glow. And probably it's very similar to those ones. But at first glance and at first try, I didn't like it or it didn't give me this effect, which gave me... Sea Sleeves and Laurent, Miracle and Calm and Face Glow from Natasha Denona. It's not very even on this area. And this side it looks much better than this one. So I don't find the consistency even though I was trying uh, to improve the application with the sponge after I applied it with the brush. But it seems like it sits in the pores on this side, on the pores and it looks powdery. Uh, over here it looks more consistency but still it's weird and it's creasing even though it sits in the line now I would like to speak about some foundation from Giorgio Armani. He has Power Fabric, uh, which I am interested in. The Power Fabric looks on my skin like nothing. I mean, it's very lightweight formula. I don't know if it's buildable. For me, it was not buildable. I don't know. It's very light coverage. So it's even a little bit your skin tone. It really reminds me professional benefit primer. And I think it sits on the skin the same way. It's just give the tint inside of this foundation. 
it's really silicone kind of primer. I don't know what is the difference, even though it's mentioned about this foundation face fabric foundation it comes in 11 colors because 11 colors is enough it's it's so sheer foundation that you don't need this perfect match it just give you kind of a tint to your skin so it's that's fine it's recommended for normal combination and oily but it's really good for me really good and i tried it on my mom it was not good i don't know why because the professional benefit on her skin is invisible but the foundation this face the fabric face it was visible nude cream on her aged skin looked perfect on my skin it's visible very strange it's also from Giorgio Armani so I think the nude cream which is crazy expensive cream foundation with a lot of skincare benefits it really reminds me the new hybrid from uh, Urban Decay as well. Um, and I am also talking about that foundation and I also trying this foundation. It really reminds me the Nuda Cream. I think it's kind of a dupe of Nuda Cream because Nuda Cream, it costs, I'm sorry, it's around 300 bucks, 240 or 300 bucks. It comes in a glass jar, um, but it was shown on my skin. I thought it's going to be invisible. On my mom's skin, which is a mature skin, it looks great. So keep it in mind. Maybe like in a gift for your beloved one, it's going to be such a great foundation. The hybrid one... Is really reminds me that one but I didn't try on my mom but I can see it on my skin so I, I didn't like it that much face fabric is 49 retail price it comes in a tube it's kind of mousse to powder matte finish face fabric blurs the look of course definitely that they will say it if, if it has a silicone definitely I think this is the number one ingredient in blurring the course imperfections with a natural matte finish at first touch the foundation is a soft mousse yes but as it spreads across the skin it melts into a powder i didn't notice it this foundation has a second skin fit thanks to its 3d stretch technology which allows the formula to move naturally with your skin it leaves the complexion looking retexturized and smooth Okay, guys, the face fabric foundation is very close to the professional benefit primer. You can see how old it's already. I used it a lot. Um, and the um, benefit that they recommended these two products to mix them together and apply on your skin if you don't want to use foundation but still you would like to even your skin a little bit. So, this is the that gal brightening face primer it has kind of pink undertone two cups <laughs> you can see. and this is the you can see um the that gal has a pink color and the primer professionally it has beige undertone not undertone at all so i'm mixing them together this is what they advised and applying this kind of mousse i don't know or cocktail on your face so like so like a plan on the face and it's it doesn't you can see it doesn't remove everything on from my skin it doesn't hide everything on my skin but it even the tone so and you don't need to spend time it's invisible on the skin you can see so you don't need to struggle buffing applying the powder and all this stuff you can do that in the dark time and even if you have acne or some problem with your skin really don't be don't afraid to show it don't try to cover under huge tones of makeup because the huge tone of makeup people would not understand they will see how so much makeup she has on her face it's ugly 
But when they have your problem, people will understand. People would, they will feel the same way with you. I don't understand that you could hear some unnecessary stuff, but don't listen to those people. Don't listen. Everyone can understand you, even those people. So these guys, I always have on my shelves because anytime if I need just to have makeup, but I don't want to play, but I don't want to mess around with my foundation and all that stuff. I'm just using these guys and they save me. I have redness here, uneven skin tone, darkness under my eyes. So I apply it and it's already looks smoother and invisible and effortless, you know. About the Crema Nude, it's a complexion perfecter with the performance power that surpasses both a BB and CC cream, making it a next level tinted cream. So the Crema Nude Nuda is a skin treatment providing invisible correction and nude coverage. For me, it was not a nude coverage. It was kind of coverage and it gives me kind of hydration. But you know, those kind of hydration that it doesn't absorb by your skin. So you always feel tackiness on your skin. But it's for me for dry skin type. But I really would suggest that for... I feel like for a mature skin type, it's going to be such a good product, really. The specially blended formula contains Armani's exclusive anti-aging complex, Revescentalis, one of the most potent regeneration plants that helps uncover radiant skin and more youthful appearance. Hyaluronic acid and Manos complete the formula by adding deep hydration with a weightless feel. So it has, it's loaded with such a good luxurious ingredients. So yeah, that's why the price is there. About the Luminous Silk, it's a beautiful foundation. I'm using the color 5.5. It really looks like Sisley maybe, the one I'm showing you here, because I haven't tried another one. Okay, the Luminous Silk is beautiful foundation. I like it very much. It looks amazing. It's also light light medium coverage i don't like to build it up i like it as it is for some reason i am i still like the yves saint laurent and natasha denona foundation a little bit more probably it gives me kind of smoother effect than the luminous silk like it's even the skin tone better than this luminous silk but still it's like it might be a tiny difference, uh, but still I like it a lot. I like it that it's kind of invisible on my skin. So this is what I appreciate from the foundation. I want it to be invisible. This is the main point and the second is longevity. That's it. But it's one level lower than these guys. One step for me lower. All my favorite foundation. Yves Saint Laurent. Miracle from Lancome. Natasha Denona Face Glow. Transformat. And even Foundation X Plus. These all foundations have alcohol. So for those who is sensitive to alcohol, this foundation might be not go well but i don't know why for me for the dry skin type i tried another foundations which doesn't have alcohol like gulain maybe alcohol is not that all bad if companies still uses this product probably those products which really sits on my skin very well and um 
alcohol evaporates at the first very few seconds when you apply it on the skin so it gives or like within a minute it depends on the foundation the foundation oxidizes and might change its color i didn't actually notice that this foundations oxidize i didn't notice that for me it remains the same color maybe it's oxidized you can see on my swatches even there i didn't notice it i noticed with Ghislaine it's oxidized but it doesn't have alcohol so for me this foundations probably has those particular ingredients which require it to be dried and to dry it like with the alcohol which evaporates from the skin and lets those ingredients to set on my skin so just keep in mind that it has alcohol okay now about the swatches you can see right now the pictures the first picture gives you the swatches and the color range of the foundation which i tried and um, i just wanted to give you some comparison between those swatches you can see that I gave you the swatches from Face Glow and from um, Transfer Matte to give you the understanding that 40N is exactly the same color. I didn't include the Transfer Matte X Plus because I just thought I would not have enough space to put all the foundation on the same arm. You can see that Guerlain foundation it has so many orangey stuff inside of this foundation and um, yeah these are the colors of those foundations now i would like to show you the next picture i applied the mild soap and rubbed it twice back and forth on my hand and look what stayed on my skin the foundation um the natasha denona is almost gone but you can see that guillain lesentiel foundation it's remain on my skin with product you know where when it has kind of a wax you, you know i'm sorry for this comparison when you have the egg remain the, the yellow stuff of the egg remain on the plate and it's dried and it's difficult to remove so it has in ingredients something probably which should provide the longevity on the skin but at the same time it looks like you can see on the picture kind of separates and kind of cracks so i think this is what made on my skin around the nose area now moving forward the next picture i applied the clinic balm on my arm to remove and wash it with water can you see Natasha Denona and Yves Saint Laurent remained as a tint, as a stain, as an ink. The Lane Foundation stayed. And the last one is the Luminous Silk. So here you go, the waterproof and kind of how to remove it. It was, of course, only one application of the Clinic Balm on my arm. But still, it was kind of very interesting and I decided to take pictures and to show you this is pretty much that's it about the foundation i hope you enjoyed this video it was a big project for me oh we are done thank you very much for watching see you next time